Hi everyone, welcome to the TS Cooking Production. Today we're going to be cooking a spaghetti carbonara, the classic, with a little bit of a twist of my own. So here we have the ingredients. We have um, tagatelli here, about, I'm using seven rolls of tagatelli. And we have eggs, we got garlic, we got about four um, free, um, free mushrooms that are sliced up. And over here we have about a quarter of um, diced onion. I'm moving slightly over here. We have about um, 35 grams of um, sh shell of mussels. And over here we have about 40 grams of um, bacon. And coming slightly over here, we have um, a bit of, uh, we have 100, 140 ml of um, double cream. Or you can make that single cream, shall I say. And over here we have um, smoked hog cheese. And just over here we have a bit of um, leek for a garnish. And that's all the ingredients. Let's get cooking. You want to add um, um, about three, say about two tablespoons of olive oil in there. That should be about enough. And then next, you want to add your onion and your garlic into that. Let me get the, the garlic, the onions inside first. Just saute those a little bit, just for a few, a few seconds, not too, not too long. I'll turn the heat down on that. And then ne next, we have the mushroom here. So drop the mushroom straight into that. And at this point, you can turn the heat slightly up. Because the mushroom they soak up they soak up all the they soak up all the oil so slightly turn the heat down and then just get those mixing together put it back on the heat slightly I'm slightly sauteed as you can see now they're nice and lovely so now what you want to do now this is the point where you had your bacon again turn the heat slightly up back up again because you need that for the bacon to cook. So you want to get a nice color on the bacon. Yeah. Let's get that cooking. Let's get that mixed together nicely. Your next move is to add the double cream into that. See? Just mix that in nicely. Let it get all the flavor of the bacon and the mushroom in there. And then now we're just going to put a bit of um, black pepper in there. So now once that heats up, we're going to put our cheese, we're going to put our smoked cheese into that. And then just before we finish, we're going to add the um, we're going to add the mussels just to finish up. Okay. So now we're going to add our smoked um, smoked oak cheeks in there. Remember not to use all of it because you're gonna use some for, um, at the end of the dish just to put just to, um, to put on top of the um, the carbonara. So that should be about enough. So we're using about you know because um, the cheese is about 80 altogether about 80 80 grams. So let's say we're using about roughly about um, 65 65 grams of the cheese into the sauce. And then now you just let it cook out with the let it cook out with the sauce. Nicely, and then once once the cheese once the cheese cook out into the sauce, you should get a thicker sauce, which should be nicer. There we go. The cheese is melted into the sauce nicely. As you can see, the sauce is very thick now. Nice, nice thick consistency. See that? Lovely, right? Beautiful, huh? Okay, so now what we're gonna do? We're gonna add the, we're gonna add the mussels into that now at this point, because obviously you don't want to cook the mussel too much. That's why I add the mussel at the end because it's already cooked. So just mix that in nicely again. Okay, now that the mussel is gone in, as you can see, now we're gonna just let it cook out for a minute or so, and then after that we're going to add the, um, we're going to add the egg yolk into that. See, I've turned the heat up the sauce now, so we're just gonna add the we're just gonna add the egg yolk into that. Nice, and now we're gonna mix that quickly. Yeah. Just mix that in because you don't want scrambled egg. Right. Nice. You can see that's beautiful. Just change the color slightly, but that's all part of the dish. So we'll make the dish look really good at the end of it.
Here we have the cooked tegatelli, which is gonna go straight into the sauce now. And then we're gonna turn back the heat on just for just for a minute or so, just to mix the te uh, the sauce into the um, tegatelli. So That in nicely, and that should be beautiful. That's all you really need. That's lovely. That's the dish. And then, just to finish off, just finish off with a leek, leek garnish into that just to give it a bit of color. And there's the dish. There's my spaghetti carbonara with a bit of a twist to it, nice with the mussels and with a bit of bacon in it. There you have it. This is just to serve the dish. Uh, we've got a plate here. You can serve this all you want. You can just throw it on the plate if you want, but this is the way I choose to serve it. Just slightly, just build it up. And then we're gonna top it up with that lovely smoked Hulk cheese that we got there. Obviously, you can do this however you want. If you want to try other, if you want to try other, um, if you want to try other compliments with it, instead of just instead of using the mussels and the bacon, you can use other things. Like whatever you like, you know. As I always say to people, you know, with food you can do whatever you want. You know, what I mean, there's never, there's no right or wrong with food. So just be adventurous. So and now we're just gonna add uh, smoked cheese on top of that. It's slightly there we are. And there we have it. That's my spaghetti carbonara with a twist and with a mussel and the bacon in it. And there we go. Enjoy it. Right, this is just a tip if you don't have any tegatelli what you can do is if you have uh, lasagna sheets what you can do is basically you can turn that into a um, tegatelli as well and by um, and the way you do that is basically just get, um, get the water up to boiling point then reduce the fire or basically turn the fire off and then just throw, um, throw the um, lasagna sheets into that and let it rest in there for about um, 10, 10 minutes or so and then after that it should look a little something like this stretched out and then you should be able to slice that straight into uh, tegatelli and there you go, just now I'll show you how to slice it so you just want to slice along depending on how thick you want it it's up to you but about this thickness is alright for me and again and just go slowly with a knife because you obviously don't want to break it as a normal tegatelli, you know, you find the same thing, they'll break as well from time to time, so you have to be very careful with them. So, slide the knife straight through. 